Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy and in this video we're going to show you how to set up your Marvel FPV goggles. So if you purchased one of the uh, build along kits from the FPV Academy bundles which are available on the getfpv.com website, wow that's a mouthful. If you purchase one of those and you don't know how to set up your goggles, this video will help you. So this is the Marvel FPV Vision screen. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is that you would have received another antenna in your um, box and that is a really bad antenna and it's also left hand circular polarized which means that we're not going to pick it up with the other antenna that we have on our quad so just keep that antenna on the side you're not going to be using that and it is just a bad antenna anyway the good thing is though that the FPV Academy quadcopter kits all ship with a set of these antennas so you will get two of them one to go on your quad and one for your goggles so let's just screw this onto our goggles and once you have that done, we are good to go to the next step. So the thing that I like about these um, goggles though is that the screen can get deattached or detached from your um, screen. So there it's attached and you can fly FPV. If you have family that want to see how you fly, you can take it out and show them on the screen and then you can just fly uh, by looking at the screen, which is really, really nice. I really like that. So let me show you guys how to set this thing up. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to switch it on on the side. The nice thing is that it does um, charge with a normal um, cable, which if you have a Samsung phone, um, you can just charge it like that. And it's also the same cable that you use to um, connect your quadcopter to the computer. So now you'll see that it's just a lot of grain going on. Um, but there's a whole bunch of buttons on the top. One that says channel and one that says frequency. So frequency will sh uh, shuffle through the letters. So this is group B now. Then the next one is group C. Then the next one is group D and so forth. So in the box, you will see that you also did get a frequency chart, which I am showing on the screen right now. It's probably in this corner over here. And that frequency chart is what you will be using to connect your uh, goggles to your VTX. So that chart you will be using to see which channel you have to be on for a specific one. And then what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to plug in my quadcopter. Let me just grab my quad here. You see it's right over here. Plug it in. Okay. And then you can see that it, it's kind of jumping around now. So it's kind of getting a signal. So what you can do is if you know what frequency you have on your quad, you can just tune into that channel if you cross-referenced it with the um, frequency chart that this came with. Or what I really like about this, you can hold in the frequency button and it's going to do a scan. So it's going to scan through all the channels and then it will find the strongest signal and then it'll stay on that one. So the problem with this though is if you do fly with a lot of other friends and they are all plugged in already, you're going to find a lot of different channels and then you're not really going to know which one is yours. So you have to still know what your channel is and it would be good to keep the frequency charge on you so that you can just change to that frequency really quickly. So as it's searching now, you are probably going to see me from the side. Um, my quad is pointing right at me and they had finished scanning all of them and there we go. So this is me. You can see there I am talking to myself. That's the camera filming this whole video now. It's like Inception. But anyway, so once that is done, then that is how you set up your Marvel Vision goggles. So like I said also, you can just put it back onto the screen and that is how you will be flying FPV. If we look through there, that is the FPV screen ready to go. And it's a really, really comfy, um, comfy head little um, thing that you put on your head too. The only problem that I have with these though is that this clip that is supposed to keep the screen closed, the one that I got and a few other people that I know fly them, they also have problems with this clip. It's very, very loose. Um, once you do put the screen on though, it is a little bit tighter. Um, as you see there, it does kind of keep it in place. It doesn't open by itself, but even the slightest little push of it is going to open it and then it might fall out. So I would recommend, you know, um, keeping it like that. Uh, if you are going to fly FPV, then just maybe use some electrical tape to make sure that this thing doesn't open and fall out. So that's the Marvel Vision goggles. And if you guys have any questions on how to set this up, let me know in the comment section below and I'll help you guys out. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.